Welcome Largest peaceful gathering Assalamu alaikum Assalamu everyone Breaking news Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Welcome to the 2022 Arba'in vlog. That's right, this year inshallah I'm going to try and vlog this walk from Najaf to Karbala, the whole journey, the whole process, just to try and capture the essence, the nohas, the matam, the aza, the lectures, and the walk itself to try and promote the Arba'in walk. So the plan is this year, inshallah, I'll be leaving from Manchester with a friend of mine called Raza Abbas Rizvi. We're gonna pick him up in a bit. Go to Najaf and then start the walk. Salam, Baba. How do you feel on not going to the Arba'in this year? Inshallah, al Mustaqbal. He asked to start. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Why are you upset today? Is it because Baba's going? <laughs> Sayyid Raza is our first person that will be joining us on the trip, inshallah. We're going to meet Zain in Iraq, in Basra. And have you done this walk before? First time. First time, first time. Time. What, first time. Any Anything that you anticipate is going to happen? Any um, things that you are expecting or not expecting? Well, I just feel like this is, well, it is one of the most peaceful gatherings in the world, the largest peaceful gathering. Yeah. And I just think every single nation from all communities, everyone coming together in the millions mm. in one land for one person. Well, that's Crazy. nothing uh, more than a miracle. Yeah, apparently this year, the, the numbers are... are Crazy, like the amount of flights yeah, that yeah. have arrived in 80, Niger. 80 flights per did day. You see, did you I see that post? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Arba'in Let's go do the Arba'in This is Arba'in This is Arba'in MashaAllah Let's go dude What are we having today Sayyidna? We've gone for a... Is it Boots? A Boots meal deal Allah. Twix, Dorito, Egg Mayo and Cress So we've arrived in Turkey airport So we're gonna catch our next flight inshallah to Basra Shall we show them how beautiful the airport is by the way? Forget this is dunya I'd rather look at something that is worthy of the akhirah Ah man, look at yourself, put on selfie mode I think what uh, the Pakistani brothers would say at this moment would be wah 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 Nara hai dari How do you feel about them giving you only one hour of free Wi-Fi. You know what? I genuinely think Istanbul International Airport, if they should do anything, it should be to give free Wi-Fi to everyone. Do you know they do that in Canada? Well, any way to make money? Any some any way. I don't know man. I think if they did if they did that, people would want to come here more often. Canada? Canada Toronto one, it's all free Wi-Fi. That's what I mean. We have now arrived in Basra. Sayyidna. Are you tired? So tired bro. So what are we doing now actually? So, we are waiting for my visa and inshallah it comes soon. We are now joined here by my cousin Nawaf Al-Hakim. Dirbalik, Dirbalik, what? Habibi Nawaf, from the Zuwar this year, what are you doing? 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Zane oh, is our dear friend from Bolton, which is next to Manchester, which is in England, which is in the UK, which is a part of Europe. And Johnny Zane, Moore. he is this your first Arba'in? First Arba'in. And your thoughts, anticipations? Excited, really excited, but very nervous. Why nervous? Because of the numbers that are out there. What do you expect <laughs> to achieve from this Arba'in walk? For me, what I want to achieve is closeness to the Imams and ultimately to God to become a better person to have a more positive outlook on life and Zane? I mean I just want to experience what the Sabaya went through Mashallah. what they had to go through Mashallah because that in, in itself is one of the biggest tragedies of Karbala 100% they say that the one Sayyidah Zainab salam, had to walk the tragedies are actually very hard to describe for the people who are the khutabat, the people who do the lectures and do the masaib at the end of their lectures, it's actually very, very heart-wrenching. The Arba'in is a very small thing in comparison to what Sayyidah Zainab, Imam Sajjad had to go for. It's literally, it's negligible. However, it gives us a small um, experience of physical pain, um, which is, you know, it, it's not an indication of what they went through, but it helps us to connect. My house, I was awful. I didn't know what I was in my Let's go. Are you, are you worried at all about not actually walking the whole way? No, I, I believe I can do it. Mm. Like, if, have like, you trained? Been, have you gone, did some walking, I've been some training? Walking, I've been walking about everywhere in this heat, so practicing for the year of uh, Allah. Yeah. Zain actually, he came to Basra um, a week before us. Guys. Guys. Assalamu alaikum. Arba'in walk. Ya Allah. You ready, boys? Let's do this. Heavy, man. Yeah. The journey has begun. Assalamu everyone. We'll see you in Najaf. Zain, the joining is on the journey, man. The joining is on the journey. They can still see us. So we've just started our journey. And as you can see here, there's already traffic to Karbala. And this is meant to be a four hour journey whilst driving at motorway speeds. So quick stop. It's uh, Salah time. I'm just going to pray Dhuhr and Asr. Then we're going to get on our way. There's about three hours left. And inshallah, the sun is not too bad actually. No, it's nice. It's not really hot. You've got a little bit of wind, so it's good. I think because Basra is close to the equator, so naturally it's things so are a bit hotter. Um, and the more north we go, obviously it just cools down a bit. It's still hot. I'd say it's about 40 degrees right now. We just stopped at this, uh, this mosque over here, which is on the way. This is uh, the area, uh, the road that everybody uses to walk from Nasriya, which is close to Basra, uh, to go to Karbala, uh, to Najaf, sorry, and then they'll go from there to Karbala and they'll complete the Ziyara of Arba'in. But mashallah, it's all empty now because everybody's made their way all the way to Najaf. Our driver for today is watching walking to Karbala. Are you tired? No, no, I'm all right. Normally I have to get a good night's sleep, but obviously when you're excited, you don't sleep as much. But the energy comes from the uh, motivation. Absolutely, so alhamdulillah. Well, apparently there's a lot of traffic at the moment in Nejef, but he knows the routes of how to get to where we're staying, which is uh, my uncle's house. So inshallah, we'll drop our stuff there, quick bite to eat, and then uh, we'll get on our way. <laughs> There's literally 
Mulkip pit stops. Yeah. Bro, that's so, I mean, that's what you call love. I mean, yeah, man. in this Deep. heat, that age, to stand there waiting for yeah. people to drive past and serve them is... Uh, and the hospitality, like, they don't let you go until you've had at least something from them. Just, they just give you whatever they've got. Yeah. Right, pit stop two. They didn't. They didn't actually let us go past. Shukran, Habibi. Never. Shukran, Habibi. I'm not. I'm not able. Shukran, Habibi. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shukran, Habibi. Wallah, I'm not able. Wallah. Test him, Habibi. Wallah. Test him. 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 Test It's difficult man because I've, I've actually got a quite a sensitive stomach so I actually can't eat things uh, even in the UK I can't eat quite a few things because of a sensitive stomach issue however we will be eating simple things like bread and drinking chai Abu Ali the media doesn't cover this man yeah it's crazy how's your milk? very good yeah. very nice yeah, it's because they're scared. They see they see 25 million people, then everyone's gonna be like interested in this, and then it yeah. distracts from their motives. But our our thora, our revolution, it will never just stops. never stop, and not only that, just continue to grow, inshallah. <laughs> These are some mashaya, but instead of walking. They're running. That is the sign that we have arrived. So we now, and you can see the mawakib, one next to the other. This isn't the main pathway from Najaf to Karbala. This is just one of the routes to get to Najaf, and you have people walking from here, I suppose. Um, also, bear in mind to the zuwar or people who, inshallah, are gonna go to the Ziyarat of Arba'in in the near future, in the, in the next year or couple of years. You can take different routes to get to Karbala. It doesn't actually have to be direct from Najaf to Karbala. That is the main route. But for example, you can go from Baghdad to Karbala. You can go from Basra straight to Karbala. There's all different routes. And people, you know, who live here, they just make their starting point their home. So wherever they live, they pack their bags from there and they just walk to Karbala sometimes. So it really depends where you're from and where you're trying to go. Um, but here is a classic example of a route where people are just walking from their nearby villages, their homes, their towns, and they have, you know, opened up the mawakib, and the rest of them are just walking um, on the path. I've arrived now to Najaf with Sayyid Zaid, my cousin, Sayyidna. No. شلون الاجواء الحسينيه بالنجف حاليا؟ والله الاجواء زينه ما شاء الله زوار وهاي صلاه على محمد وال محمد المواكب الحسينيه ما خسرت الحمد لله اكو قسم من هذول المشاهدين ما رايحين ال40 قبل اي نعم شنو رسالتك لهم؟ يعني على وايد يجون بالعكس الوضع زين يعني مم. وامان واستقرار والمواكب زينه وجد يخدم الزوار والحمد لله يعني الحمد لله نعمه يعني افضل من قبل اصدقاء وياك هذول اصدقاء والله عرفنا عليه هذا سيد ماجد سيد ماجد سيد ماجد جاي مشاي هذا الاخ يعني من البصره طالع من سيدنا العزيز السلام عليكم من, من, السلام من الجزيره يعني شلونكم سيدنا؟ وجاي مشي يعني حياكم الله زين سيدنا انت مشيت من البصره للنجف ايش قد طولك حوالي؟ طولت يعني بالعاشر يوم وانا داخل النجف يعني تسع ايام يعني بالنص يعني باليوم ايش قد تمشي؟ امشي 50 55 ايش 60 ما شاء الله ايم هير ويف زين ام ذا ثيرد موسكتير Sayyid Ali Al Hakim. Sayyid. So, we are now packed, ready. Rock taxi are on the back. Now we are getting a taxi to Imam Ali. It's all blocked off, but he's going to drop us off at the closest place possible. So, guys, let's say, Assalamu Alaikum. Ya Allah. We just started the Arba'in walk 2022 
every step every step that you're taking right now you get 1000 deeds and that's 1000 sins removed wow and straight ahead right now we're going to enter wadi salam we are walking through Wadi Salam. Here we have the biggest graveyard in the world. This is a blessed place to be in, and it's a place to be buried next to none other than the commander of the faithful, Amir al Mu'minin. People from around the world. Even if they die in different countries, they wish to be buried here. Come on, Karasa, first problem. Said, what's happening to you? So basically, I have this issue where when there's heat and I'm walking, yeah. my thighs, when they rub together, I get a bit of pain. Right. So it started, but you know, we, we're, on, we're not even an hour into the journey yet. So right. I'm going to soldier it through. So what, what, how are you going to accommodate? He's got some cream. So inshallah, when we stop over, we'll put it on and we should, uh, we should be okay. Have you done? Been to the bathroom, did some adjustments, put some cream on. Yeah. And uh, the effects are immediate. So this is traditional. Iraqi is dried up uh, lemons and limes and they put it in they make it into a tea it's a traditional thing that they hand out during majalis during uh, funerals what do you think Reza? tea of the lemon tea amazing shukran habibi We have so this is Sharia. Um, it's basically like noodles, but sweet. So it's very nice. We passed Wadi Salam now and uh, we're going closer to pole number one it's still a bit of a distance people i think might be thinking that as soon as you get past imam ali السلام, it's pole number one no it's a bit of a walk and then you get to pole number one and there's about 1400 something poles um, so about a three-day journey for the average person and um, you just tend to have breaks in between you know top up on tea coffee water food just to keep you going because it's a very long walk what drink have we got now zane so now we've got some uh, it's like a berry juice berry juice yeah it's nice and cold refreshes you <laughs> Oh, a small break right now with the lads. Zane, Salam alaikum. Are you okay, man? Yeah. Good. Any pain? Legs are getting there, but we'll battle through it. Inshallah, inshallah. Raza, how are you feeling? Well, we're very tired, man. Pained. We're but not, you know, Raza, we're not even on pole one yet. I know, I know, I know. But I'll apparently, I'll give you some. Said, this me, is the this longest is the longest. Poetry. Let me give you some poetry. distance. Walk, walk, brother, walk. Don't, Don't get tired, we can walk, walk, walk. So true. Walk. You've been how many times to this walk? Four this is times? My, yeah, this is my fourth walk. So, how does this one differentiate from the other ones that you've done? And what will you take away from this walk? And has this been different so far in terms of the other walks that you've done? So, this walk for myself, it does feel different because you're coming into the walk with the mentality of what you've absorbed and practiced on from the previous Arba'een 
So for me, it does feel different, and it depends on your level of how much you practice piety. So it depends on each person. Definitely. Alhamdulillah, we've arrived to pole one. We've got about 1,450 something of these. Inshallah, we'll be able to do this. Allah is a sea of love. Honestly. Black droplets of a flowing river towards the master so of paradise. So true. Well, well, if anyone is thinking about coming, don't think twice. Well, if you've got the opportunity, come. It's, I've never seen anything like it ever. Sayyid Ali Radhawi, Sayyid Jalal Ma'asumi, Assalamu Alaikum, and Sayyid Nayabs. How are you guys doing? Who are you guys with today? We are walking with Jafar and Tours. MashaAllah. So we are together with the Ziyara group. And how's the walk been so far? It's been a blessing. Yeah? And we've seen nothing but in this service of Imam Kasey. Oh, I am. So. Physically, how are you guys doing? We're still motivated. MashaAllah. Sayyid, how are you feeling? Alhamdulillah, it's going. It's going, it's going pretty well. Yeah? I think you guys have done it before? Yes, before. Yeah, 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 for yeah, six, I think. Ja yes, Jafar and Tours. And how's it, how it been organizing? Um, a, mo uh, uh, a walk with the group, have you enjoyed it? Has it been difficult? Logistics? Um, logistics has been on and off, but Alhamdulillah, you know I'm saying it's blessed us and made everything easy. Mm. Um, it's all about the knee at the end of the day, yeah. but Alhamdulillah, we've got Sheikh Khayyub, Sayyid Jalal, Sayyid Ali Radhawi. Sheikh Nasir, Alaikum. Alaikum, Alaikum. Salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sayyid Ali. Oh Allah, Sheikh, whenever we see you, we are blessed by your nur. Barakallahu fi. May Allah reward you. You are the source of the nur, Sayyid Al Karim. Barakallahu fi. Sheikh, not only does he a lecturer, he's also a poet now. Yeah. <laughs> How's the work been for you? Alhamdulillah. Shabab are doing a wonderful job. They are helping me. I enjoy every moment of this walk, Alhamdulillah. Any advice for people who have not been before? They should try it and they should do it. They shouldn't fear to walk. Once they start, inshallah, they will manage to, to finish it. They, there's something very spiritual here. The vibe is so, subhanallah, how can I say? Yeah. You need to come in order for you to try it. So we found a different pathway this one which is adjacent to the actual walking path the main walking path you got one here and you've actually got another one where people are walking behind i've been seeing that you've been walking with a lot of energy a lot of spirit what's giving you the boost bro literally it's the excitement to see the train of the just, just getting there that's what i'm so excited for raza you're not doing too bad <laughs> Considering what? my condition, I think I'm doing okay. MashaAllah, your motive? Well, exactly what Zayn said. My motive? Same thing. Allah, Allahu Akbar. They killed Ali Azhar. Allahu Akbar. They killed Ali Azhar. I'm sorry, O oh Rabab. They killed Ali Azhar. Uh oh. Man down. Uh oh. Man down. Uh oh. Come on, Sayyidna, so show him massage it. you. You've got it. Wallah, I'll give, you, go, I'll give you a massage on your feet. Nah, bro, no way. Why not? I'm not gonna push you through that, bro. No, don't. You don't need to worry about it. How are you feeling, Sayyidna? Wallah, alhamdulillah, feeling good with the guys. I'm just worried about Raza a bit. Um, but as long as he's okay, I'm okay. Um, Oh, I thought he was referring to me. <laughs> There's so many Ali's here that whenever they say Alawi, you just naturally look. So yeah, but Alhamdulillah, I'm really happy that we're almost at pole 100 and we've, we've done a good pace. Um, we're planning to stay over at the pole of my friend who, he has a mokib at 526. He's actually the guy who's in the walking to Karbala animation and oh, where well. we stop and stay over in that mokib. That, that design was based on his mokib. So I can't wait for you all to meet him. Such a very nice guy, Sayyid Haidar, who's one of the one of the guys in charge of Masjid Kufa. I've known him for a very long time, very hospitable. And inshallah we'll see what his feedback is on this year's Arba'in.
من النجف قد عمركم؟ 13 13 انت قد عمرك؟ 14 انت؟ 15 15 وين رايحين؟ ماجوري Right, we're at poll 208 and we've seen the blessed brothers from Newport Farhan. Assalamu alaikum. Sajjad and the brothers, how are you doing guys? Alhamdulillah, how's the walk so far? Alhamdulillah, it's, um, it's busy as you can tell, um, but it's a blessing. MashaAllah, how are you feeling? Well, we're kind of getting my words out to be honest, but uh, shattered now. But what can you do, man? You just gotta continue. So basically, what we're gonna do is walk another 10 poles, have a break at 300, pole number 300, and then we're gonna go again to pole number 400 and have another break. Bit by bit, inshallah. Met Jureen. 313. Husseini at Fatima al Zahra. Salam Allah alayha. Allahumma ajilu alayk al faraj. Subhanallah, listen to the sound of the birds praying. Zain, you alright? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Have we started We're limping going. then? Yes. Okay. It's hit me finally. Is it a blister or what is it? The blister is at the bottom of my You got floor. a few blisters? Yeah. So the good thing is, on the Arba'in walk, there's people who can pop your blisters for you. Yeah. So, so inshallah we'll find somewhere. And... Uh, we still do it, we still do it. An update from Sayyid Raza. Sayyid, are you limping as well? I'm limping, I've got blisters under my feet. So that is that the cause? That is the cause. Because uh, we just asked Zayn and he said it was blisters. I've definitely got blisters under my feet. One foot, two feet, is it both? Both. 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 Um, top or bottom of the feet? It's like at the, towards the top. And how large? I don't know. Until that year, have a look. Um, we continue, we're not too far now. So I was saying to Zane that there's places where they can pop your blisters for you. Medical professionals. So I mean for the time being, if it was getting to the point where I couldn't cope with it, I would definitely go, but it's okay. It's bearable for now. It's bearable for now. All these guys, first time, but have done fantastically. And are still continuing to go. And these are the times where people kind of call it a day and then start the next day but we're trying to push a bit further today so you, you know some people at home they see this they think oh nice little walk nice little breeze nice little stroll three days in and out done we've never done it before what's your response to that statement so before i came here i was exactly the same I thought, we're going to have food on the way, drink, sit down when you want, lie down, nice and easy, go at your own pace. Um, but I promise you, I mean, some people will be, of course, more fit than me. But in general, I would definitely say, prepare yourself. It's not as easy as you think. Um, you know, it's, it is a challenge. And I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm quite a fit person. I'm young. I do sports often. Mashallah. I go walking, I go running. But this has been a challenge for me. We are here now, passing by the Zahra Trust, a mokib well known for their hospitality and generosity. And of course, this is the charity. for Arbaeen Day for the Zawar to be provided for the Masniyaz. On 492. 
So we've got a bit more to do, slightly more than 30. We have arrived to the mokeb that we're staying at today. We have got a bed and uh, we are joined by it's 8am right now and Salah is in about 4 hours so we're gonna wake up pray between me and you I don't think Raz is gonna make it poor guy poor guy make dua for him well when you're watching this it's already finished but make dua anyway but yeah I'm not sure if he's gonna make it he's fully out he had to go to the uh, to the hospital area to uh, get treatment let's leave it as that place here he's done quite well actually right now we just finished Salat al Dhuhr and Asr this is midday heat in Iraq and we've got about three hours sleep you know, four yeah, hours we, sleep. By the time we, we knocked out, it was about half eight, eight o'clock. Right, and right. It is now 12.15, so about four hours. But we woke up before, didn't we? So three hours, yeah. Three hours. And how was your sleep? Well, that bro, it was okay. I had some guy sat above me on like a sofa, and he must have kicked me about four times. So uh, I had to physically hold his foot and put it back on onto the sofa. So. It's okay. <laughs> okay, and um, other than the uh, kick on the head, everything else was okay? I was in quite a bit of pain. Right. Um, I've got some swelling. Say if they did pop the blister, do you feel like that would be enough for you to be able to walk and carry on? I hope so. How was your sleep? It was amazing. Pain? Amazing. Oh, you were, it was amazing? Yeah. It's my side from Shabab in there. Yeah. So that was quite nice. May yeah, Allah bless them all again. Well, they work very hard, these guys. Sayyid Ali, he is the son of Sayyid Haidar, who are in charge of this mokib. Salaamu alaikum, Sayyidna. Habibu Sayyidna, Allah has a gap. Sayyidna, the ajwa has sana, the arba'in year. Wallah, jayda, alhamdulillah, wa shukar. Jayda, umrad. Arba'ta has sana. Shunu tadris. Rabi Adadi, had alma. MashaAllah. And shunu tarid to talk in mustaqbal? Alhamdulillah. وليش تخدم الحسين؟ خدم الحسين حتى أكسب الدنيا والآخرة. ما شاء الله. Is the man who's in charge of the mokeb that we have here that was the one that we mentioned that is part of the animation. He's also one of the main people in charge of Masjid Kufa. السلام عليكم سيدنا. عليكم السلام ورحمة الله سيدنا علي. سيدنا الأجواء هالأربعينية. سيدنا بالنسبة للأجواء حزينية. ما شاء الله والله مصلى على محمد وآل محمد بس أكو هاي السنة تميز. جدا عن عن الزيارة أضعاف مضاعف عن السنين السابقة أنا بالنسبة لي صار تقريبا بهذا الطريق عشرين سنة نعم ما شفت كزخم كزخم وبركة مثل هاي السنة يعني أعداد مضاعفة مئة بالمئة يعني سيد العام أنا جهز العشاء مالك ستة آلاف وجه سبحان الله هاي السنة الحد أمس الحد أمس صار ثلاثة ألف ومئتين ما شاء الله مليون وثلاثمائة وخمسين ألف كاسة مي لحد الآن زين عشانة Breaking news. Raza can't carry on, unfortunately. His legs are finished, his blisters, other things. So basically what's going to happen is Zane's going to take him to his family's mokib. This guy's spraying water on the... Um, the plan was to get to 1,080 today. But I'm going to try and just do it in one go, hopefully. Um, also, our accommodation has not worked out. We were planning to stay at Zane's relatives, but they're a bit further from what we anticipated. Um, and because of that, uh, like as in further from Imam Hussein's shrine, so too much traffic going forth and back every day. We're trying to get somewhere a bit closer. So we're gonna see what options we have when we get to Karbala. Inshallah, it should be sorted though. I've done some calculations. What I'm doing is, I'm timing how long it takes me 
to go from one pole to another on average so for example from this one to that one and I'm averaging about between 35 to 40 seconds and I need to get to 1072 to meet the guys so what I did was I did 40 seconds worst case scenario 40 multiply it by the difference of where I'm at which is you know around 5 560 and I'll, it's gonna take if I go straight without a break five hours but obviously you need a break so let's call it six hours so right now it's five o'clock so inshallah I should meet Raza about 11 p.m. that's all theoretical whether that's gonna happen or not you never know with these walks suddenly your leg starts going something else starts happening you never know let's see what happens I had to stop off somewhere just to get a bit of energy so we got these Barian super crunch super taste ketchup flavor and then this is Cristal which basically 7up so yeah hopefully that will give us more energy we've got to 604 alhamdulillah we're doing all right So quick update, basically finished Salah, we're on 718. Um, Raza, he went to get checked and they said that they can't pop the blister at the moment. They said they're gonna give him some cream that will resolve it and they're gonna drop him off now. Um, Zane's gonna drop him off to his family mokib. I wanted to use my headphones, just some Latmiya, some Noha and I couldn't find it in my bag so I basically tipped my whole bag in this sandy bit and couldn't find it only to realize it was in my pocket all along so this is what happens sometimes when you're tired you make mistakes like this interesting fact <laughs> So what's happened with Reza is they still need to take him to the next location which is the one that's 1100 something but the thing is these cars here um, it's been they're all full apparently so no one's stopping for them they're trying to get a, a lift to go to that next pole but everyone's full for some reason um, I guess it just shows how much Zuwar there are and there's probably not enough cars to accommodate which is a theory which I've never norm, normally there's enough cars so it's um, quite interesting so they're still all the way back in 526 but regardless I'm still gonna carry on walking also wanted to share two important tips for you dear viewers of how to assist yourself whilst walking so um, every say a hundred pulls do some stretching you might be the only one that's doing it people might think oh what's this guy doing trust me it works because what happens is your legs get stiff once you keep doing the same motion which is what you're not used to walking so long so your legs get quite stiff and when it gets stiff you're in pain and people tend to stop well you can actually just keep going if you just stretch um, and the other thing is have a break so just sit down until how much you need to sit down for until you recoup your energy and then you keep going and that tends to just be basically it's like a fuel station for a car it's like a pit stop for a human Karbala. we have arrived in the holy land of Karbala. alhamdulillah shukur that was Paul 948 so although you've entered Karbala, you've still got a lot of pulls to do um, so because obviously it's a whole city you don't straight away get into Karbala right at the end no it's a city so alhamdulillah that's that's looking quite good also I wanted to mention another tip of how to stay motivated during the walk because as you can see here 
the walk. Sometimes it's very loud, sometimes it's quite quiet. Sometimes you need that little boost of motivation. So what I highly recommend is bring your headphones and before coming to Iraq, download your favorite Nohaz, Ladmiyas, download Duas, Quran, anything that will keep you motivated to keep going. It makes a heck of a difference. And um, this is another way of also gaining good deeds because you not only are gaining good deeds from walking, but you're also gaining good deeds from listening to Latmiyat. And also, when you listen to Latmiyat, that will encourage other people to think of tunes and maybe even start reciting. And then obviously that's how these things happen. So that is another tip. Alhamdulillah, we're still going. There's 9.50 on the moon shining ever so bright. But for the last like 400 or 500 poles, um, I've had to do it alone given the circumstances. And um, you know, it's, sometimes you do feel in a lonely state. Obviously Allah's with you in Ahl al-Bayt and millions of people. Normally I'm used to having people walking with me, but this is a interesting um, situation and scenario and feeling but then it makes you think that the Imam of our time you know this is the art of Arba'in so inshallah he's also one of the Zuwar of his grandfather but you know is he alone when he goes to visit you know does he go with anyone as a with friends with family with children with what does he do any of this? And this is the lonely state of our awaited savior. It makes you ponder and think, what are we gonna do to hasten the reappearance? Let's keep this thought in our heads. It turns out that Zayn's Mokib is on that route, not this route. So I'm gonna get to here, and they're gonna pick me up and take me to the other side. <laughs> يا هلا ويا مرحبا من العمارة يا سيدي السلام ها من العمارة من العمارة هلا بكم هلا بكم This is the famous Pakistani mofid 1086 I've got to say they do make very good biryani here 1100 we got here Shreya lying down because legs started to kick in well, it kicked in a long time ago, but it's kicking in now a bit more. This bench has got water on it. I don't know if you can see it or not. But who cares, man? Water, no water. I was going to lie down on it regardless. But I'll show you my view. There's the moon. So that's the Zawar being magnetized by the love. Hey. By the end of that, I was soaked. Doesn't matter. Just keep plodding along. Okay. Amul Bani Alayhi Salam. Salam Allah. Point 1180. You're right there. We made it. So hopefully, Zayn said it's going to be five minutes. And then he'll pick me up. And then he'll take me to his mokib. We're gonna, we decided we're gonna rest there for tonight and then we'll walk the rest tomorrow. What did Sayyid Zainab go through? It was unspeakable. Not only does it the physical torture, which is much, much, much worse than whatever we're doing. She saw what happened in Karbala and still went on. You know, this is our role models. Salam Allah alayha. Zain. And this is Zain's cousin Muhammad. Salam alaikum. Ayakum Allah. Ah, guys, how's Raza? Raza, he's recovering. I put, put him in a room, he's wet, clean. 
and alhamdulillah has been able to do the last two three hours and then we'll all be going to be in Karbala again Raza Salaam Sayyid How you absolutely you? smashed it How you well done well you know what for the first time I can say great what time is it alhamdulillah it's four o'clock three o'clock so I slept at 12 so Good four hours so far. Fantastic. We're gonna wrestle. We're not gonna. How go was now. a walk? Yeah, it's good, man. But it's the last 18, 90. Yeah, I mean, it was quite difficult. So nice to see you, man. I'm glad that you're okay. Thank you, boys. Amazing Thank to see you. We reunited Hello. finally. Well, what, what's the name of the mokib again? Mokib. Zaid doesn't even know his own mokib. Mokib Shabab Hassan Mushtaba. Mara Haida. She's in here. Mokib Shabab Hassan Mushtaba. Ah, mashallah. Ya Zafa, Narida, Ausik. من تدفن بول يهمة بهيدا نزل بقبره ولم يوصل كل جسمه. What we found here, well, some some guy literally just arrived now and just passed me the uh, reins. So what an experience this is. Gonna sit on it. Uh, I'm not sure about that. What if it just runs off? How, how, how do we get down? So I'll just let go. So these are ones are used for um, acting. Yo. So why is he strapped here for water? I assume. I don't know. I think he needs water. This is the mokib that we stayed in last night. Mokib Husseini al Shabab al Imam al Hassan al Mushtaba. It was established in 2008. And going strong. So, like we said, this is a different route to the standard Nejaf to Karbala route. We're on the other side now. Um, I've never done this route, but this route is actually the Rakta Tuarij route. Rakta Tuarij is a run that people from the area of Tuarij, which is in Karbala, but it's not far from the Imam, they go running every year uh, from their area to the Imam. And this is the route that we're taking, so it'll be nice to see this area. Raza, how are you feeling? Do you know what? I feel recharged. I've had so much rest. I've had some good food. Um, feeling much better as well. No pain. So, ready to go now. The last Fantastic. leg. Fantastic. So we drop our stuff off. We'll go straight to the Imam. Perfect. Whilst we're a bit more tired and not, because we're going to walk now and we'll go straight to the Imam. 100%. Inshallah. Yalla, Zain. Shabab ma'a salama, Hamoudi. I see the Khabibi. And we are back, the three musketeers. Then it became one person and two people separate. <laughs> and now we're back as three. We're back again. Start together. And La Baika ya Hussein. La Baika ya Hussein. I passed the checkpoint, they're checking people's bags. So this is the. Uh, so this is a very busy area. And I think this route, because it's not the main route from Najaf to Karbala, it's a different route that gets you to Karbala. I think you find more residents who walk here. So I at Athis who walk this route. Because it's not the mo the most common route. So you know, why not try this route out, see what it's like. People giving out food, drinks. Obviously a lot of traffic to our left. A lot of things going on right now. I think it's that way. Yeah, back to the mokibs here. People giving out all sorts. I picked up some rutab, it's a form of dates. It's before it becomes a date, it looks like that. Before it becomes a date, it looks like this. So we're gonna wash it. We're all gonna try one, see what it's like. Is this one, has everyone got their date? Right, here we go. Let's give it a go. Bismillah. We've got mixed reactions because it's rutab, it's quite a dry one. So, yeah, but it's nice it's an for some taste. people. It's, an it's not got chili. Alhamdulillah. I want, uh, I've never had a banana ice lolly, but uh, it's like a banana as well. Exactly. Zane, what have you got? I got a Coca Cola one. Cool, yeah, I've got banana as well. How is it? Have you tried it? It's not banana. What is it? It's orange. Tastes like orange? I think it is orange. The packaging's wrong, but it's uh, it's it looks, nice. Well, that, means that, that means the colouring's a bit off as well. <laughs> yeah. 
Does yours taste like Coke? Apparently his banana tastes like an orange. Oh. It's Iraqi it's banana, orange. it's fine. Is it actually orange? Mine tastes like orange. Well, it's like one of those drinks no, that you get. No, mine tastes like orange. those drinks that you get, like a fancy one where they put the question mark on it. <laughs> you don't know what it is. Yeah. Guess the ice lolly. Guess the ice lolly. And they make it even more complicated by putting banana on. What's happening here? This is an army truck. Yeah. And he's taking the jawad that can't make it all the way to the end. To the Imam. What's happening here, Zain? We're very close to the shrine now. Well, we've almost made it to our destination. We're going to be staying at Muhammad Taqi father-in-law's place today. So this is the hospitality of Muhammad's father-in-law. May Allah reward him for his service of Imam Hussain I've had to carry on recording with my phone because they don't let cameras in. Look behind, look behind. Assalamu alaikum, Ya Ba'abdullah. I see you of lovers. 